Hello and welcome to Undervisy and thank you so much for joining in. In this video I'm going to share my quick thoughts and first impressions on episode 1 of the new Digimon series Digimon Coast Game. But before that if you're new here then please consider subscribing to our channel since I do weekly anime and manga related content along with a bunch of other stuff. With that being said, let's begin the video. Now, one word review, I'd say impressive. This was a really impressive first episode and I'm really excited about the show. Initially when I saw the poster for the series, I thought that this was going to be yet another Applemon disaster, but oh my goodness, I am so damn wrong. Because right from the very opening song, this season is going for a very different vibe. The lyrics, the literal lyrics being faction, fiction or real, it's going for a very detective and uh, what should I say, paranormal like style. It's a detective Scooby Doo like mystery or a Sherlock like mystery and if you are interested in genres like these if you are a fan of genres like these then this show this season is going to be a very good one for you and immediately right out of the bat I got a lot of Digimon Tamers vibes from the very first episode which is always a very good sign so starting off we get to see the introduction of the female lead of the series in the form of Ruri now she's not really explored that much in the first episode the first episode is more centric upon Hiro the central protagonist the Taichi caricature but even with a very few scenes Ruri has established herself to be a very interesting character because she sort of reminds me of a less serious version of Rika and I'm eager to see how that eventually unfolds Moreover the show has a lot of mystery element going on for it and there's a subtle undertone which has been applied right from the get go because currently humanity is very perplexed with some weird holograms which are appearing throughout the entire world for the past 2 or 3 years no one exactly know what is going on here what exactly they are are they living things or are they a malfunction of some sort of a software but it's a matter of general intrigue and the entire population is sort of invested into it and from there we get into the territories of urban legends there is the urban legend of a character of a person who has his mouth sealed and he is going on a rampage and stealing time literally time from children so that's a very big epidemic right now and i mean i was not ready for this the series looks really child friendly but right in the very first couple of minutes we get a very gruesome scene where clockmon yeah clockmon appears out of nowhere from these temporal holograms and this by the way special effects has been utilized very well by toei animation i have some of my doubts and criticisms about some things here which i'm going to talk about later on but for now i'm just going to say that the special effects for the holograms are really good and clockmon appears out of nowhere in an abandoned or rather an empty auditorium and he attacks a girl who was looking for a phone there it's a very typical setup for any ghost movies in a way and even the sound and the OSTs were really reminding me of a lot of old school ghost movies but either way he appears out of nowhere and he just steals away the time from the girl we literally get to see her entire life fade away in front of her like when she grows up when she goes for a job when she marries when she has a kid etc all of these things are flashing in front of her and in the end she is left as a wrinkled old lady this was pretty gruesome and i was totally not expecting this especially with the animation style it looks really child friendly um if anything that's my only criticism with this series so far the animation is very bare bone and the art style is very flat like there is absolutely no depth to the overall art style except for maybe some of the fight scenes and some of the you could say animation sequences or anything like that basically so i was really not expecting a moment like this to pop up right out of nowhere but this sets up the tone of the series that this is going to be a very different sort of a series and i am really all in for it but moving forward we get to see the introduction of our protagonist in the form of hero he is currently living in a sort of boarding school or um dorm or hostel and he goes to a high school we also get introduced to his friend who is sort of important for this episode later on as he is the other kid who is attacked i don't know if he is going to be important in the future of the series or not like is he going to get a digimon of his own I'm not sure about those stuff but in front of him we also get to see the introduction of a second lead in the form of Kiyoshiro and uh, initially I thought that Kiyoshiro is going to be a very badass character but apparently not he is a very scared guy and he sort of reminds me about Joe in a way but at the same time Henry from Tamers as well so it's sort of like an amalgamation of these two characters and their character traits in a way and I'm really eager to see how it eventually unfolds moreover 
the voice acting here it's absolutely on point i really didn't check some of the wikis or anything but i'm pretty sure that there are some very distinguished voice actors who are working on the series the one voice which i could immediately make out was of hero i'm 100% that the voice of hero is actually of none other than kobayashi and i was really surprised by that by the way so yeah that was really interesting but moving forward we get to see some of the back story of hero and how his father is an inventor and sometime before like sometime before the starting of the series his father like literally vanished out of nowhere we got to see his room and it seems like he's sort of experimenting with digimon and digital world and he later on appears in the episode in the form of a hologram and again a lot of tamer vibes going on here a lot of tamer vibes and before i move any forward i have to say that one of the most impressive things for me here right now is the characterization and caricature hero and the other characters they are not just one dimensional you know cookie cutter characters just like some of the other seasons that we have seen so far i mean i'm not dissing upon tamers or adventure they both are some of my favorite series of all time but even then especially how we saw in digimon 2020 reboot the characters were very one dimensional with being represented only by their sort of crest in a way but that is not the case here these are some full fledged characters they are not just limited to their crest like hero is not just courageous he is an inventor he has picked up some of the skills some of the investigative as well as inventorial skills from his father he is also scared he is just a random kid he has to be scared and at the same time he is also courageous he also likes to have fun so this is a broad amalgamation of character emotion and overall it just makes him an interesting character to look forward and uh, this season has started off really well especially with the characterization being on point but here basically hero and his friend try to look up into this old abandoned building and it has basically caught up national interest at this moment ruri has become a social media celebrity at this moment uh, where she's following the investigation for this unforeseen circumstances which is basically going on here with this character who is literally stealing away time from everyone and uh, they try to sneak up on here in order to catch a glimpse of what exactly is going on here and soon enough that actually happens clockmon comes out of nowhere and he attacks a friend of hero and yet again his life his very time is sucked out of him this scene you know very much reminds me about the fourth great ninja war from naruto shippuden where the divine tree is quite literally sucking out the entire chakra from the shinobi so it's a very similar scene in a way with uh their body literally decaying at this moment seeing all of this hero is obviously scared and he tries to run away he goes back to his dorm and we learn that his friend has been taken to the hospital but unfortunately enough if clockmon has set his sight upon someone he's going to take his revenge he's going to suck up the time from that particular character and because of this hero is very scared but then again he stumbles upon something which his father had left for him which is this particular watch and some of the you could say uh micro sd card looking things i'm not exactly sure what these are it's it can be digi sims something which we saw in savers and even fusion so that might be the actual case here but basically what happens here is that hero puts in some of the slots and a mysterious digimon appears in front of him or a mysterious hologram appears in front of him and eventually he gets to meet his father in a hologram like form who informs him about digimon and the digital world and how he is most likely currently inside the digital world and soon enough we met to see gummamon this little guy he's absolutely adorable like right from the very first episode i'm a huge fan of him he's just adorable he's a goofball and we need to protect him at any cost and the rest of the episode is basically gummamon and hero fighting off against clockmon and again we have a lot of tamers references just like we had the card slashes and tamers similarly we have some uh, I, i i don't know what to say but maybe watch mechanics which are involved here my only criticism here would be i i just hope that this show doesn't turn out to be a cash grab for the merchandise i mean toys are important merchandise are important but i just hope that this is not the only thing which influences the overall show and hero's father basically tells hero to take care of gamamon for him to take care of him as his very own little brother so that is an interaction which i'm really looking forward to see and i'm really excited about it 
So yeah, this is basically the first episode of Digimon Ghost Game. I'm a huge fan of it. Thumbs up from me, and I'm really eager to see what eventually happens in the future of this series as well. Moreover, the OP has given us a lot of spoilers. I'm going to probably talk about that in a separate video because we literally get to see the digivolutions of all of these characters, and um, I have a lot of thoughts. So anyway, this is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more. See you all on the next one.